Welcome to today's CT Style Express. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. If you're looking for some wines that are sure to impress at your upcoming Easter or Passover gatherings, look no further. Gary Grunner, the wine guy, is here with some great picks for us. Hey, Gary, great to see you. You know what? It's great to see you, and it's great to see everybody. It's really cool to be back in the studio. I'm definitely not a laptop guy, you know, going on. This first is, time back, this is a big deal for First us. time back, it's great to see everybody. So all I can say is, um, you know, I'm looking forward for the next couple of months. This is very, very cool. Yeah, so we are it's happy great. to have you here. Easter's coming up, Passover, mm -hmm. spring in general. We're hopefully, you know, getting together more than we were Absolutely. the past two years. So talk to us about the picks you have here. Well, the interesting thing is my travel schedule is crazy now. I just came back from mm -hmm. Napa and I'm being introduced to new wines and winemakers. And so what I want to do today is I'm going to keep it really tight really focus on a couple of great wines all available in Connecticut so uh, you can find them in your local store except two we're going to talk to you about that are first that are first coming out Apolloni uh, Pinot Gris we have Easter coming up and a whole bunch yeah. of holidays and everyone's getting together in their backyards right. and having friends over delicious Pinot Gris uh, this is something that if you do like Pinot Gris you know, if you like white wines that got a little acidity nice little balance to it you're gonna love that now let's go to Chile Scooter Rojo. I like uh, the name already. Sauvignon Blanc <laughs> and Cabernet. So if you're going to have some appetizers, some seafood, yeah. that Sauvignon Blanc is delicious. The Cabernet is killer. Obviously, the price points on this, they over-deliver for the price. I love these wines. I love wines from Chile. They're great. They're fun. You know, everyone is so used to California wines. You don't Absolutely. really hear Chile as much. but You know what? Chile kind of slowed down a little, but you get some great values in Chile and Argentina. Mm -hmm. And those are the things you really don't, you know, you go into a wine store, you want to mix a case. Yeah. You want to get that discount. So you really want to keep, you know, fill it up with California, but take some really, you know, take some Chile, Argentina, take some wines from France. This is really cool. That's this one that I have right here. This is what we have. All right, cheers. This is amazing. Cheers to that. Salut. This is crazy. <laughs> if you smell this, this is a beautiful, beautiful rose. Now, this is great. This is Tom Rinaldi and Eric Riesch. Tom actually is from Napa. He's one of the oldest winemakers there. Oh, I better not say that, but he's been around for 50 <laughs> vintages, and a lot of the new winemakers who are doing high, high awards and everything, he actually was the guy who, who taught them. He's a great winemaker. Patent wines are first coming out. You'll see them in Connecticut, probably in May or June. So we have a Sauvignon Blanc and a Rosé, and, and these Gary, come from Napa. While we have this glass, just quickly tell our viewers, I know there's a way to smell a glass of wine. Yeah, How so, do we do this? Well, the first thing you want, <laughs> <laughs> first thing you want to do is just look so here, this yeah. is kind of cool. So go. let's say if you had a Pinot Noir, if like, this is a rosé, most important thing is you want to look through it. And okay. if you can actually see your thumb, especially with Pinot Noirs, I can see it. it means it's 100%. Okay. So it's not, there's nothing else blended. This is a really, really delicious rosé. You can smell it, you can smell it. So you just want to twirl it around, get the aromas. Oh, and he's holding it by the stem. See, I can learn so much from you, Gary. So when you hold it by hands, you're warming it up. Yes, okay. So you want to hold it by the stem. See, we're wanna, getting some tips about this, You want to really too. smell that fragrance, especially with rosés. This is really delicious, really strawberry. It's got some great fruit to it. This you're going to love by itself with mm -hmm. a meal, with salads, fish, anything. It is a killer. All right, what's next? Uh, patent wines. Next one. Helen Kiplinger, one of my famous, one of my favorite female winemakers. This is Vermilion, Vermilion Red. Vermilion is the color of red, and that's actually the color, if you look at some of the old master paintings, um, you know, Mona Lisa or anything, you know, that was the color they used, so really, really cool. This is a Grenache-style wine. That's mm -hmm. the base, and that's something also for the summer, great seafood, you know, you get anything off of the barbecue, really, really cool wines for the grill. And the last one? Yep. Cody Wright, this is Willamette Valley, one of the young, uh, up-and-coming star winemakers. Pinot Noir, it's 100% Pinot Noir. The Willamette Valley used to be a little cooler with climate change. We're all feeling the pain, but you get a little bit more wines. They're a little bit more Burgundian in style. Mm -hmm. They're rich, they're elegant, they pair well with some really nice foods. And uh, the nice thing is all these selection, it's all available in Connecticut. Just go into your favorite wine store. You can ask for them. Patent wines will be out in about 60 days. You'll see them. But a Scooter Rojo, Apolloni, Vermilion, and uh, Lone Oak from uh, Purple Hands. A couple of great choices. So many great options as always, Gary. Thank you. And where can we find you on Instagram so our viewers can find even uh, the newest picks of wine as you find them? At Gary Grunner. All right. Awesome. Gary, thank you as always. And thank you for joining us for today's CT Style Express. We will see you right back here tomorrow. Have a great day.